today I'm gonna show you all the grandpa perks ranked from best to worst so you can get more wins when playing the family in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Let's get it! Yo guys what's up, I hope you're having a great day! Alright, we're gonna start by talking about the elephant in the room, the perk animal farm right here with the chicken. This increases the chicken detection radius. This is definitely the worst grandpa perk in my opinion. I have not used it at all and I have not seen anyone use it. So first, the chickens to begin with are not very useful. So I've played a couple hundred games as a family already and there has not been one time where I've catched a victim because of a chicken. And this perk, it doesn't even say how much it increases the chicken detection radius. Even if it would double the radius, it would st I would still not use it and would not recommend you to use it. I'm gonna put it in D. So this is definitely one of the worst perks. All right, next up, we got barge to the point which is this one right here. When you have to barge through a door that is latched from, from the inside, usually it would take like four or five tries to open the door. And with this perk, you open them on the first try. In theory, it sounds, it sounds like a good perk, but the use case for that perk is just very low. There are much better options to choose from because you only have one slot for the grandpa perk. So why would you not choose the best perks possible? This perk is a very niche perk and you, don't, you will not get very much use out of this perk. So I'm gonna put it in C tier. It's not as bad as the chicken one, but it's still not as good either. All right, next up, let's talk about this one, which is called Experience Stalkers. And what this does is it reduces the family proximity warning range for victims. So victims get this like yellow circle around the screen when a family member is near. So with this perk, it basically reduces the terror radius. You can get more close to the victims before they're noticing you. And again, we don't get any details on how much it reduces the, the terror radius. We don't really know how good it is. It definitely has some use cases. Perhaps if you want to sneak up on the victims when they're unlocking doors and you want to sneak up on them from behind. I really don't think this perk does make any difference and I have not seen anyone use that. So I'm going to put that in c tier as well next up this perk a lot of people are gonna hate me for this because uh, i'm gonna put this in c tier the perk is called window with this perk victims take 50 percent more damage when jumping out of windows don't get me wrong this perk is not bad and a lot of people use this perk i just put it in c tier because you can only use this perk on the family house map because no other map has windows to jump out and because i'm rating the perks for their overall performance and viability i cannot give this perk more than a C tier because again the only niche you can use this perk in is when they jump out of the windows on the family house map and for that it's great but it doesn't have any more use cases but if you're on the family house map and you don't have any better perk options go ahead and use this one all right next up i'm going to talk about this perk which is called excited grandpa the delay between grandpa's sound ability is reduced by 20 percent at each level so this ability is pretty useful actually it makes grandpa scream 20 percent more often at each level so if grandpa is at level 3 he will scream 60 percent more often and at level 5 it's even 100 percent more often first of all usually the victims are not moving when grandpa screams so the chances of you revealing them are pretty low to start with and the only thing it really does the more grandpa screams the more often the victims will have to stand still which will slow down the game a little bit but in my opinion this perk is not really worth it because you only get the full use of this perk when you level up grandpa to a high level and at the moment it's really hard to get grandpa at a high level with grandpa getting stabbed so often so i'm gonna put it in b tier and i've used it a couple times before but it's not the best option next i'm gonna talk about well-fed young guns Whenever Grandpa Sona is activated, all family members instantly regain 50 stamina. So that means every time when Grandpa screams, if you're not full on stamina, you will gain 50 stamina. This may sound good on paper, but it's still a really niche perk because, because this Grandpa perk only works in one scenario. First of all, Grandpa has to scream, and at the same time, you have to be low on stamina. And how high is the chance that you're in a chase where you really need the stamina right now when grandpa screams. The chance that this happens is really low. It can be useful in some scenarios, but I don't really use it at all. I'm gonna put that in B tier as well. I change up the C tier a little bit now to clear up which of these perks is the best, which is the window perk. Next, let's talk about the, the best perks of the game. And I'm gonna start with this one right here called Nobody Escapes Hell. With this perk, the mini game for locked doors is 40% more difficult for all victims. It basically means the victims need 40% more time to unlock a lock and also to unlock the cook's padlocks. This is a really useful perk in my opinion because it slows down the progress of the victims and they need more time to unlock the doors and get objectives done. And every time we can get a slowdown on the game, it's really good for the family because the family needs time to set up. And if you can get grandpa to level one fast and get this perk activated, this will slow down the game a lot. I'm gonna put it in eight here. Next, uh, we're talking about well, well, well. This is uh, with this perk, the, uh, the victims take 50% more damage when they jump down welds. 
And because jumping down wells happens so often, basically every time you chase a survivor, at some point they will go down the well if they have no other option. And this just makes them take more damage and it makes them consume more healing items, which are limited on the map. So if you keep injuring them over and over again, at some point they will run out of heal items and it will make for an easy kill. So this perk is really good and family members run it a lot of times. So it's going to be A tier as well. All right, next we got Suffocation Grip. With this perk, the close encounter minigame is easier by 20% for the perk holder. So if you equip this perk, it only works for yourself. It doesn't affect your teammates. In my opinion, this perk is very underrated. I don't see a lot of people use it, but in my opinion, it's really strong. Having a 20% higher chance at winning the grappling minigame is huge, because the victims really like to use grapple fights as a last resort to get away from you and stun you. If you can turn around the tides on them, when they don't expect it and just kill them right away, that's gonna be pretty useful. I've had so many grappling minigames where I've won the encounter that I've usually would have lost. So I'm gonna put this perk in A tier as well, because it's one of my favorites. And if you don't wanna miss any more guides, news and updates on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate that. Also let me know in the comments down below, what are your favorite grandpa perks and what's your opinion on my tier list? All right, next we have the perk don't have all day. The stamina drain while sprinting is decreased by 20% with this perk. So this is really strong. Stamina plays a huge role when chasing and attacking victims. The less stamina you consume, the longer you can chase the victim and the higher are your chances for getting a kill. So this perk is really good. And if you compare this perk with the perk well-fed young guns, this is a lot more useful. It gives you a permanent stamina buff by 20%. And this is crazy. All right, next we got a perk always in sync. When active, the family focus ability duration is increased and the cooldown is reduced. This perk has some use cases. In my opinion, the family sensibility is fine like it is. We don't really need to increase that. Um, it's already on a pretty short cooldown. If you don't have any better options, you can take it. I'm gonna put it in, in B tier because you, you're using the family ability a lot and it will make your life easier. All right, let's put it between those two perks actually because I think the, the screaming frequency is a little stronger than this one. Alright, let's talk about swinging for defenses. This perk reduces stamina consumption on melee attacks by 20%. I mean, that's pretty obvious. This perk is pretty good. A lot of people use it. The more often you can attack before running out of stamina, the more damage you will deal to the victims and the more likely you are to get the kill on them. So this is definitely an ST perk and very useful. Then we got the perk Brute Strength. This slightly increases the melee damage for all family members. And this is one of the perks that probably everyone uses the most because I mean, come on, more damage equals more kills, and more kills are more wins, you know what I'm saying? But we don't really know how much it increases the damage, it says slightly, so maybe it's like 10% or 5%, even if it's only 5%, it's still a lot, and I've been using it a lot, I see other people use it a lot, and it's a really strong perk, in my opinion, well deserved in S tier. And lastly, we got the perk exterior alarms, when active, all critical doors and gates are highlighted for 5 seconds if opened. This is also a really, really strong perk, I'm gonna give you an example. For example, if you are on the slaughterhouse map and somebody opens a door leading to the facility or leading to the slaughterhouse, like one of the metal doors or one of the red doors, those will get highlighted for 5 seconds. Also, all the exit gates will be highlighted for 5 seconds if they're opened. So this is a really strong perk to give you a lot of information to let you know where the victims are heading so that you can react immediately and stop them from escaping. Alright guys, that's my tier list for the grandpa perks in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you learned something in this video. If you did, hit that like button right now and also subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any future videos. i see you guys in the next one, peace!